Hi, welcome to my documentary. It is 8 11 p.m. on Tuesday. You can see the date. Now, entries are almost closed. I just got an email. It's literally less than an hour. It's due at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but I want to do it because it's something I just thought of today. I wasn't even going to enter this, and I'm like, wait a minute. I do have a road product that I can use. This dual lavalier microphone thing that attaches to my crappy iPhone 6s Plus. I bought this for a podcast convention just before the pandemic so I could interview people uh, with my dual lavalier mic and then the pandemic started. So I have this and here's the thing. I started using it again a few weeks ago. My, my aunt actually got a uh, diagnosis that she has pancreatic cancer and that's very sad and at the same time her daughter had a new daughter so now she's got a new grandchild and uh, she messaged me one day and she said uh, she texted me and she's like hey I was thinking maybe uh, you could film me reading stories um, for my granddaughter uh, she said you know because I'm, I'm trying to do it over the phone uh, but the kids aren't paying attention and stuff and that's what she told me um, but I, I think I understood like the the real thought was like you know maybe if things don't go well with the cancer or something maybe the grandkid you know will grow up not having stories read to her by my aunt and so what I I, I, what I did is I went over to a place and I set up a tripod and everything and I wanted the sound to be perfect, right? Because this is the voice of, of the kid's grandmother that she'll have forever reading her this story and I didn't want to just use the mic on my iPhone or whatever so I brought over this road because I could have even just used, um, you know, I've got a million iPhone headphones and stuff but I wanted it to sound great and so that's what I did like a month ago not even thinking about this contest or anything and so I thought that could be my little documentary um, I'm gonna show you a little clip of my aunt reading the story action we are filming we are filming Baba reading one of her favorite books the paper bag princess it's especially poignant because um, when I went over that time the dog was doing a little barking or moving around and then it turns out the dog passed away just like a few days later, so we, there's no more footage of the dog. This is uh, Oscar, and that's Phoebe, and then the owner of Phoebe just said, wait a minute, these guys are like Os are Lady and the Tramp. And then my uncle was uh, up there too, and he's got uh, dementia, Alzheimer's, and so it's, it's a blessing. He's a lot older than my aunt. Uh, my aunt's only 69. He's like 17 years older, and so uh, it's a blessing to have him in it as well. And she looks pretty darn happy in her paper bag. Uh, and that's the end of the story. That's it. And then we had cameos by Uncle Glenn. Well, my Uncle Glenn. This would be Grandpa Glenn. And then Cousin Josh. What am I? Cousin Josh. Cousin Josh, filmographer. And then we got Oscar the dog walking around. So thanks for watching. Bye.